Well friends, we've been waiting so long for this. We're going to make a solar power plant that will be able to give electricity for an entire house. Any solar power plant is based on solar cells. Power plants are expensive, so a power plant may take you 10 years to make some profit from it. And now it's obvious that you will not save money from buying one. But we didn't buy a power plant. We've decided to make one ourselves from the solar cells. Buying the cells is much cheaper. And if you want to spend even less money, you can buy some damaged solar cells. They still accumulate plenty of power, even if they are damaged. Making the solar power plant is hard work. We have spent oceans of time soldering all this. The first pack wasn't even ready for soldering. They were supposed to be pre-soldered on the front side. Let me show you the second pack. There you can see the pre-soldered nickel stripes. And the first pack didn't have the stripes, and we had to make them ourselves. The soldering scheme is somewhere in the previous videos. Right now we've been working on the solar station for few days, and we've made only four, only four panels. Have a look at one here. There is the second one, the older one, and two more over there. What can you tell me about welding these cells? Are you damn tired of this or not? First it was hard to get used to it, but now it's just a simple clockwork. Making the panel from the damaged cells. As I said, they are sufficiently cheaper. We have found out that the damaged cells can give out up to 80% of power. So why should I pay more? I get 10% less electricity, but I also spend 70% less money. Kosher. Soldering is not hard. You just don't be nervous at all. Otherwise the contacts will not be soldered. There is a little helper and just solder the silvered contacts. It must be easy. What do you think this slide chain is made up? They didn't put here enough silver and it's so little here. This means we have only one chance to solder. And this is what we get. Cut the extra. Let's set the frames for the power plant. And we use simple aluminium pieces. We just cut the metal to certain pieces and screw them together. Then we take the silicone sealant and glue the glass to the frame. This looks exactly solar panel case. And there is something brand new. We're gonna use a special liquid caoutchouc. And when I mix two components it looks like silicone. Then it becomes solid fast, no impact from the sun. This thing is recommended by many people who make solar panels. Mixing it in the right proportion, 500 grams means 25 grams of solid maker. That's it, we have just 15 minutes to get it on the panel. The table has to be even and flat, cause we're gonna pour the liquid here. And we are pouring the compound on the glass already. Beautiful, just awesome. Then we need to smear it with a brush. We need the mixture to cover the entire surface, one even layer. Then we take the solar cells and carefully, I said carefully, put them on the surface, right in the mixture. We're trying hard to make it nice and easy. They must be touching each other. And don't forget to remove the air under the cells. Next row, look how beautiful it is. Then we're gonna use the mixture again to cover the cells and they're going to be sealed, and they will never be damaged with water or shaking. That's the best protection. Just look how cool this worked! This means that the solar elements will be cooled well from the glass. And the vacuum inside makes the reflection insignificant. This means that the sunlight will not be lost, and the most part of the light will go directly to the cells. Now we need to connect all the elements. It will be a long consequent connection. This way the voltage will be summed. 60 elements, each 1.5 volt and 4 ampere. So as a result we will get 30 volts and 4 amperes. And this is actually 120 volts. That's the solder I use now. And that's a tin wire, tube. And inside of this tube is the rosin. So I don't need to search any rosin, I just can solder. And enjoy what I do. When the elements are glued and soldered, it is necessary to test the solar panel. Because if a single element is not working for some reason, then the whole panel is going to be useless. To carry out the test, we're going to expose the solar panel to the sun, and we're going to check each element whether it works. I'm using a bulb for this. The blinking light will show me the defective element, and where is unstable voltage. We have high chance to find some defective elements, cause we use the damaged cells. Turning it on, and now we see 0.43 volts. That is fine. Next, the same, 41, it's good. I give it an A mark. The next one is 0.40. These are good. Now we can install the back case. And we're gonna seal the cells now, using our encapsulant. 
I just admire these fancy things. I feel proud and happy about them. Really good. The sun cells are super protected with a sturdy and elastic encapsulant. Now it is high time to install the solar power plant on the roof. Maybe you have even smaller ladder, at least like this. You've got a big roof. Turn on the Spider-Man mode, you know that is quite extreme, hang on these sun panels here. The installing is over, let's solder it. Here you go. We need to heat these bubbles. Kitty! This tape is BS, we need there another one. Try to use the blue one, it's more sticky. We have installed 8 solar panels, and now we need to assemble the heart of it. There you are, the wire from the solar panels. We have put it right in the house. I'd like to check the voltage and you're gonna like it. I have a graphite piece and have a wire. Oh. Graphite wire, dragging so fancy. That's the sun power. <laughs> Just imagine a sun power welding machine. There's a volt counter and let's attach this one, this big one, a giant lamp. Wow! And we see that the voltage lags 2 volts now. Well, let's load this baby. And let's attach here 4 of 12 volts bulb. Each consumes 80 watts power. The current doesn't hit me, though there is 60 volts. Turning on. The wire had 41. I can't stand this light for long. 670 watts, oh my gosh. This result is just fantastic. Especially I guess you remember that the elements were damaged. And now it's the end of October. The sunlight isn't that strong now. Let's attach the sun controller. For a start we're going to use a simple car accumulator. Then I will get some lithium batteries. The next step is to connect the sun panels to the controller board. Oh, a spark. Plus and minus. Initialization. Okay, there's a launching process, and we can see the battery started charging. Let's turn on the inverter. Let's try to use the accumulated power. I can add the voltmeter and turn on the heater. The heater must consume 490 watts, and currently the solar power gives us 49 volts, 9 amperes. The sound panel controller must be set in specific mode via settings. It has some special volt amper characteristics that let it squeeze out everything that solar panel can get in. Any weather, clear, rain or cloudy. Of course I want to use all solar energy. And we installed here two sockets. One socket gives constant current, working always, and the second works only when there is enough power, comes from the panels. I set the heater to the second socket, and thus, when there is any extra power from the panels, it heats the house. If there is not enough sun power, and the batteries are half charged, the relay switches the devices to the electric net immediately. And this power station is also a power supply for the house. If there is a blackout, the relay will switch to the sun power instantly, and the house will be provided with electricity again, simultaneously charging. Well, I can tell you that this solar station is quite enough for all house needs. In a sunny day it is 480 watts, and when it's cloudy it's 120 watts of constant free current. When it's dark a power computer can work 3 hours with a small battery. And only when battery die, the appliances will switch to the net. In future, we're going to upgrade the station and add here something cool. And we need to add some more batteries to have 24 volts. I think they will be lithium. Write me how I can enhance my station, please. Subscribe if you like the alternative energy.